Like it or not, Beatles remixes are here to stay. But what if you could remix them yourself? I'm Andrew from Parlogram, and in this video, I'm going to show you an amazing tool which enables you to do just that. I'll also tell you about a fascinating new Beatles book. So, let's go. AI has become a bit of a dirty word as far as Beatles fans are concerned. Remember the outcry when Paul McCartney mentioned that it had been used in the creation of Now and Then? That turned out to be a storm in a teacup, because the AI he was referring to was nothing more than some clever separation software called MAL. MAL, or Machine Assisted Learning, was developed by filmmaker Peter Jackson and used to spectacular effect on the Get Back film series. And of course, more recently, on Now and Then. It was also employed by Giles Martin on his remixes of Revolver and the more recent revised Red and Blue albums. Now, whatever you think about those remixes, you've got to admit that the technology behind them is very impressive. And I'm sure you, like me, have thought of what you could do with it if you could get your hands on it. Up until recently, the only way you could separate elements on a Beatles recording at home was to mute one of the channels, which only really worked on their first two albums and some of the other early tracks. A few weeks ago, when I was preparing the video about Cry for a Shadow, I wanted to find a way of isolating the bass from that record and separate the drums and guitar parts. And in the process of my research, I came across something which could do exactly that. LALAL.AI, or La La Lai, as they and I will call it from now on, is an AI web-based stem splitter. So, how does it work? Using a neural network, which is now in its fourth generation and called Orion, Lalalai takes the file you upload to its site and splits it into individual stems. Not only can it separate the vocal and instrumental tracks, but it can also separate bass, drums, and some other instruments too. Now, I've been playing around with this for a few weeks and thought I'd share it with you and show you how it works. So, let's take a look. The first thing to do is to go to lalal.ai, where you'll be greeted with this page. To upload the track you want to separate, click on Select Files, then choose the file from your computer. In this case, I'm going for the Beatles track Rain. The screen will then display the status of your upload. The length of time your track takes to upload will depend on the speed of your internet connection. It took around 20 seconds to complete for me. Once uploaded, it'll take a further 20 seconds for the site to generate the previews you requested, which in this case is a vocal instrumental split with the vocal track on top and the instrumental below. The yellow volume bar indicates the preview which is active, and to hear it, just press the play symbol. Slip into the shade when the sun shines down on me when the sun shines down. To listen to the instrumental track, simply mute the vocal preview and turn on the one beneath, and then hit the play symbol. Now, one of the highlights of this track is, of course, Ringo's drums. So let's select that for the next separation by selecting it in the menu on the left. After around 15 seconds, you've got another pair of previews. The drum track on its own and the track without the drums. Let's listen to the drum track. Let's try another one. This time, I'm going for Penny Lane. Now I've shortened the sequence here a bit to save time. Let's listen to the vocals. Penny Lane, there is a barber showing photographs Of every head he's had the pleasure to know And now, here's the instrumental. Mm -hmm. 
Let's try another stem from this track. How about the piano? And now the track without the piano. Penny Lane, there is a barber showing photographs Of every head he's had the pleasure to know And all the people at Tom and Jerry Now those 30 second previews are all free. You don't even have to sign up. But if you want to separate the entire track and download the stems, you'll need to buy some processing time from one of these packages, which at the time of recording looked like this. 18 euros gets you 90 minutes, 25 euros buys 300 minutes, and 35 gets you 500. I bought 500 minutes because I think I'm going to use this a lot. Once you've bought a pack, you can either have the files emailed to you or you can download the app on your phone or desktop, which then downloads the files directly to your device. Once you've downloaded your stems, you can mix them in any way you like, by using a program like Audacity, for example, which is free, and a link to that is in the description. Now this video isn't sponsored by La La Lai, but if you buy one of the packs, I'll get a small kickback, which helps to keep the channel going. So click on the link in the description and get yourself started. Believe me, once you get into this, you'll be playing with it for hours. It's truly addictive and amazing. Now the results at the moment aren't perfect, but this technology is improving at lightning speed. And the separations are just going to get better and better, which means more fun for us who love to mess around with this sort of thing. Creating new Beatles content using AI is something I'm not a fan of, but using it to demix existing work is something I really like and is something I really enjoy doing, and maybe you will too. And of course, it works on any music, so you can spend hours using it on all your other favorite records. I know I will. Something else which is a lot of fun is this brand new book. It's aimed primarily at collectors and called Extended Play in the UK. And it's written by collector Richard Noller and published by a small independent Dutch publisher called AppCore. It's the companion to this book published in 2022 by the same author called Made in the UK which is a complete overview of all the Beatles singles ever manufactured in the UK, which is also available from the same publisher. This extended play or EP book follows the same hardback format and contains the most detailed information about the Beatles UK EP releases ever put together. At just over two kilograms or about four and a half pounds, it's a weighty tome and no wonder there's 500 pages in full color, containing nearly 4,300 photos of every pressing and variation, covers and discs, of Beatles EPs from Twist and Shout in 1963 to Magical Mystery Tour in 1967. But those regular EPs are really only half the story. The book also contains sections on the songs the Beatles gave away on EPs, EP box sets on vinyl, and CD, special edition EPs such as the Walls Ice Cream EP, promo EPs, and even bootleg EPs. There's also a lot of record collectors eye candy, such as rare acetates, test pressings, press cuttings, and memorabilia to keep even the most fervent collector happy. Also, I'm pleased to see a comprehensive section devoted to those hard to find Irish EPs. And there's a selection of foreign EPs too. And it's bang up to date with all the different editions of Now and Then. This book really is a fabulous achievement. Having collected Beatles records for many years, I know the amount of work which must have gone into it. So hats off to Richard Noller for pulling it off. If you'd like to buy a copy, it's priced at 65 euros, which is around £55 or $70, plus shipping of course. And I'll put a link to AppCore's site in the description where you can order it from. Now of course, this book doesn't give any values for the records it shows. For that, you're best off looking through eBay's sold items or using a site like PopPsych, which gives you results of ended eBay auctions. As demand appears to have caught up with supply, 
prices in general for original Beatles records have fallen from the heights of, say, 10 or 15 years ago, as most collectors now have everything and are searching only for upgrades or some special items. But saying that, anything in top condition from any era is in demand. UK pressings from the 70s up until everything went digital in 1987 sound great and are the perfect solid base for any Beatles collection. They're still easy to find and not too expensive, making them excellent value. Ultimately though, something is only worth what someone is prepared to pay for it. So if you want to find out what the true market value of something is, I'd recommend putting it on eBay as an auction and letting it run to the end. So thank you to Appcore for sending me this book and I look forward to their next Beatles project. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do get the book or give La La Lai a go, let me know how you got on in the comments. I'll be back next week with something else to tickle your fancy, but it's all over for this one, so I'll say bye for now and thanks for watching.